Uncle C back in the office and in today's video I'm going to be describing exactly when the time has came when you should dump or break up with a woman or withdraw from a woman or not give a woman your time, validation, respect or attention simply because she bit the hand that feeds. And this is when that woman simply just does not deserve it anymore. Now make no mistake, this is not necessarily you being rude, this is not you being an ass, this isn't you doing any of that. What this is, is this is you having stipulations, this is you having guidelines, and this is you having boundaries so that way you can live your life with a clear scope and not let the wrong partner interject within your life that gives you toxic turmoil. Now, what you have to understand going into this video is that a couple days ago, I made a previous video card up here in the top of the screen that says you must learn how to lose with women. What does losing with women mean? Losing with women means that as a man, you have to solely know when to cut ties, cut your losses, things have went south, and you need to know when to move on. Because there's so many men, what they try to do, and this was me, especially in my beta male stage, I would try to just through sheer power or shoot through just the, just the drive in me would tell myself, I can repair this. I'm strong enough to repair this. I'm going to figure this out as if attraction is something you can figure out. It isn't. There's three things today that we're going to dive into. And if you spot any of these red flags, I would recommend exiting the relationship that day. This is going to take you not being emotional. This is going to take you detaching from emotional outcome starting to look at things as raw objective truth. Raw objective truth in your life will save you the toxic turmoil and hell that you will go through if you follow your feelings because in the feel good day that we live in, you have to understand that following your feelings gets you burned. They're fake. It's an internal pull to see if you will be moved off center. The three things we're going to be discussing today is going to be entitlement, double standards, and decrease in S3 actual intent if you were a man that started having S3 actual encounters with a woman in the beginning. And if you stay until the end of this video, rest assured, you're going to have clear intent as I break through each one of these step by step as to what to look for, how to react to it, what to do, and then how to make sure it never happens again. But if you don't stay until the end of the video, you're never actually going to get any of these useful tools. Which is why since I just took time to build all of this, I would appreciate the one commitment you can make to yourself to A, not make these same mistakes anymore, and B, give this your honest effort, your honest focus to stay with me until the end. Let's actually dive in. The very first thing you want to look at when it comes to women and when to dump is going to be entitlement. This is number one. Entitlement comes through expectations of you or expectations of the relationship without working for them, without deserving them, and without strategically going about this in a way where it's beneficial to you and her, not just her. I will give you a great example. There's women who they'll date a guy for two to three years, and in the whole midst of it, they're consistently talking about marriage without proving that she's a wife. Think about this. Marriage without proving she's a wife. If any of you are dating a woman right now, I want you to look your woman directly in the eyes and say, what does it mean to you to be a wife? No, not just a title. Not just you get to change your last name. None of that. What does it actually mean to you? What, do, what, what qualities would a wife have? If your woman can't give you an honest answer, that is a woman that looks at marriage as an expectation simply because of the time investment that she's put in. It does not work like that. These titles are earned. The next expectation assumes she should just be taken care of with no S3 actual reward of the man. What you'll even notice is the less she's taken care of, the higher the S3 actual increase in her desire is, the more she's taken care of, the more she actually removes her intimacy, removes her love, and removes her care of the man. But yet these women, what they're going to do is they're going to say, well, if I was married, I would do that. But it's wrong because in the beginning, it was not like that. If you move this to the bottom, it's going to say all freedom with no repercussions. What does this mean? All freedom with no repercussions means that I can do, if she acts like I can do what I want, I am who I am, you're not my dad, you don't get to decide. What this is saying is if you set a boundary, hey Tom, hey Frank, hey Dan, hey Timothy, if you set a boundary, you're now gonna be shamed as insecure. When in actuality, you are trying to assert your lead, which is good. This is necessary for healthy male to female dynamics, but if you notice the number one biggest trait where relationships are going to go south and then it's time for you to break things on because you don't see eye to eye as entitlement. The second 
is, fellas, it's going to be double standards. The biggest one you're going to see from time and time again is pass flings. She keeps pass flings on the back burner. Right? These are back burner leads in case things go south with you. Or, in your brain, things are on the up and up with her. But the better things have gotten within the relationship, the more she desires these other leads in the past that might have left her. These are the men who have left their mark. These are the men that she craves on a day-to-day -day basis. And these back burner leads, what you're going to notice is if you had a friend who was a female, all hell would break loose in that woman's brain and she would go haywire. However... She can talk to Tim, she can talk to John, she can have a Snapchat list of 45 guys, but oh, you don't gotta worry about any of them. You see, this is what's going to happen. And this next double standard means that she can be flaky, but if you are the one to lose interest, you're all of a sudden manipulating. You're, you're manipulating. You're manipulating her and you're being a manipulative man. This is called a double standard. You need to watch out for these because double standards is ultimately, this is a woman that presumes you can have equal outcome with unequal investment. I'll give you an example. What's mine is yours, baby. We're in this 50-50. However, let's say they're going to pay for a vacation and he has to bear 95% of the weight of that. But in actuality, in her verbiage, they're 50-50 on everything because they're a team. This is called a double standard. Now, if you notice a woman with a double standards, you're going to have to move on. It does not matter how beautiful she is. It doesn't matter how attractive you are to her. It doesn't even matter if you guys have had S3X in the past, because all that shows is she was willing to give it up to another man, increase her notch count, and not necessarily have any long-term plan or strategy for herself to make this a useful way of her time and of her youth and not only that of how she carries herself in the interaction too and number three is going to be decrease in s3 actual intent if you notice in the beginning you're a woman it was fast it was easy it was fun it was exciting and there was genuine mutual desire there between you two but over time there's withdrawal from your compliance this is when you're gonna have to exit oftentimes men they are compliant not necessarily due to the fact that they're weak they become compliant because it's tough to be with somebody if you have to disagree. And the truth of today is that women make excuses not to sleep with a man nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10. But the higher he raises the emotional toxicity, the higher he brings in more bad boy attitude and bad boy demeanor, the more he rocks the boat, the quicker her legs unlock. And oftentimes this sends conflicting or contradicting signals to that man's brain. But this is what he has to come to terms to. The next decreased sexual intent comes only if she uses it as a reward. If you do this, we can sleep together tonight. If you do this, I suppose I can do the duty. This is no lack of care, no lack of intimacy, and no lack of desire. And if you see any of these things happening, I would highly, to the fullest, recommend ending things today. You have to grab your balls and you have to do it. And if you don't, you're going to be ran through the trenches through weeks, months, years, potentially get walked on or left for another man. And if you stayed until the end of this video, chances are you're in one of two boats. And if you'd like the opportunity to potentially work one-to-one -one with me inside of my best attraction principles, processes, and step-by-step -step procedures, I want to bring two things to your attention. Number one is my men's MBT full stack one percenter program to which you're going to be getting an inside look and scoop at the day to day principles that we're using inside of MBT, along with my copy paste procedures that you can use to level up your life, level up your finances, become a high value man and actually be someone of strength, power and authority. If that is you, I want you to go down below and book a call with my brother Cole. Also, if you're a man struggling in a current committed relationship slash marriage, meaning you've noticed your woman is displaying all of these things behind that I've just showed you on this whiteboard. However, you're in the phase where you want to reconstruct things. There's too much for you at stake to lose, whether that be your family or everything and anything in between. I want you to go down below and hit the link for the Relationship Blueprint Mastery case study. And if you're a fit with that, you're gonna be hopping on the phone with one of my teammates, one of my team members, and they're going to be showing you the exact way you can get the chance to reconstruct this marriage and work one-to-one -one with me inside of that. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the comment button, maybe type me a comment, and we will see you in the next one.